I should have known that you would have been here, Professor McGonagall. Are the rumours true, Albus? I'm afraid so, Professor. The good and the bad. And the boy? Hagrid is bringing him. Do you think it wise to trust Hagrid with something as important as this? Ah, Professor, I would trust Hagrid with my life. Professor Dumbledore, sir? Professor McGonagall? No problems, I assume, Hagrid? Uh, no, sir. Little tyke fell asleep just as we was flying over Bristol. Try not to wake him. There you go. Albus, do you really think it's safe giving him to these people? They are the worst sort of muggles imaginable. They really are. The only family he has. This boy will be famous. There won't be a child in our world who doesn't know his name. Exactly. He's far better off growing up away from all that until he's ready. <laughs> there, there, Hagrid. It's not really goodbye, after all. Good luck, Harry Potter. Up! Get up! Now! Wake up, cousin. We're going to the zoo. <laughs> Here he comes, the birthday boy! Happy birthday, son! Why don't you just cook the breakfast and try not to burn anything? Yes, Aunt Petunia. I want everything to be perfect for my Dudley special day! Hurry up, boy, bring my coffee! Aren't they wonderful, darling? How many are there? Thirty-six. I counted them myself. But last year, last year, there were 37. But some of them are quite a bit bigger than last year. I don't care how big they are. This is what we're going to do. When we go out, we're going to get you two more presents. Now how's that, pumpkin? I'm warning you now, boy. Any funny business, any at all, and you won't be getting any meals for a week. Make it move. Move! Move! He's asleep. He's boring. Sorry about him. He doesn't understand what it's like. Lying there, day after day, watching people press their ugly faces in at you. Can you hear me? Yes. It, it's just, I've never spoken to a snake before. Do you, I mean, do you talk to people often? No. You're from India. Was it nice there? Do you miss your family? I was born here. I see. That's me too. I never knew my parents. Mommy! Dad! Look! You won't believe what the snake is doing! Oh. Ah! Thanks. Any time? Snake! 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 Happy birthday, Harry. Oh, sorry about that. I demand that you leave at once, sir. You are breaking and entering. Dry up, Dursey, you great prune. Mind, I ain't seen you since you was a baby, Harry, but you're a bit more along than I expected, particularly around the middle. Ha! Oh, I'm not, uh, Harry. Uh, I am. Well, of course you are. Got something for you. Afraid it might have gotten a little squashed on the journey. And I expect it will taste good just the same. 
Ah, baked it myself. Uh, thank you. Excuse me? Who are you? Rubius Hagrid, keeper of keys and grounds at Hogwarts. Of course, you'll know all about Hogwarts. Sorry, no. No? Blimey, Harry. Didn't you ever wonder where your mum and dad learned it all? Learnt what? You're a wizard, Harry. I'm a what? A wizard, and a thumping good one I'd wager once you train up a bit. No, you've made a mistake. I mean... I can't be a wizard. I mean, I'm just Harry. Just Harry. Well, just Harry. Did you ever make anything just happen? Anything you can't explain when you were angry or scared? Dear Mr Potter, we are pleased to inform you that you have been accepted into Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. He will not be going, I tell you. We swore when we took him in, we put a stop to this rubbish. You knew, you knew all along, and you never told me. Of course we knew. How could you not be? My perfect sister being what she was. My mother and father were so proud the day she got her letter. We have a witch in the family. Isn't it wonderful? I was the only one to see her for what she was. A freak. And then she met that potter. And then she had you. And I knew that you would be just the same, just as strange and just as abnormal. And then, if you please, she got herself blown up and we got lumbered with you. Blown up? You told me my parents died in a car crash. A car crash? A car crash killed Lily and James Potter? We had to say something. It's an outrage. It's a scandal. He'll not be going. Oh, and I suppose a great muggle like you is going to stop him, are you? Muggle? Non-magic folk. This boy's had his name down ever since he was born. He's going to the finest school of witchcraft and wizardry in the world, and he'll be under the finest headmaster that Hogwarts has ever seen, Albus Dumbledore. I'll not pay to have some crackpot old fool teaching magic tricks. Never insult Albus Dumbledore in front of me. <coughs> <coughs> I'll appreciate it if you didn't tell anyone at Hogwarts about that. Strictly speaking, I'm not allowed to do magic. Oh, we're a little behind schedule. Best be off, unless you'd rather stay, of course. <laughs>